Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'd like to talk to you about our new range of camo suits. We're super excited about these. First up is the blue. This is a really great suit for tropical conditions. Um, perfect for chasing game fish. It's got some really nice tones in it and we're looking forward to seeing this out there. We think it's going to do really well. Next suit on the list is the grey. We had a lot of fun with this. We had guys asking us to please make a snow camo. Well, it doesn't snow on the water, but we used the color tones and the themes and ideas of a snowy landscape to come up with this gray. And it actually looks pretty cool. It's been very popular so far. Last but not least, this is my personal favorite, the green variation. We designed this around our South African water conditions, but it'll work anywhere in the world. It's just a really, really nice group of colors. And um, in not so clean water, it works just beautifully. All of these suits are gonna be available in both 3ml and 5ml, in both open sole and nylon line. And that's gonna bring us to the next part of this video. Everybody knows open cell. It's what pretty much all of us have always worn. Nylon lined or double nylon suits have been around for a while, but they weren't always that great. The nylon linings weren't really that soft or stretchy and people found them uncomfortable, hence why open cell was so popular. If we look at these two pieces of fabric here, both of them are laminated with a nylon layer on the outside. This is what protects the rubber, gives the suit its color and allows you to stitch it. There's the sewing or stitching line there. The thread bites through that nylon layer and that's what allows it to hook into place. Same here with the green one. There's your stitch line. They both look exactly the same from the outside. When we turn them over, we'll see a difference. This is a double lined suit or a double lined piece of fabric at least. Nice, soft, smooth black lining on the inside. This stuff is amazing. It's some of the best fabric that I've ever seen. It is just super, super soft and stretchy. This stuff will stretch for miles and miles. It is very, very comfortable. Next to it, here we have the open cell piece. You can see the traditional open cell raw neoprene rubber that we're all used to. Note, there's no stitch line on the inside here. You can't sew open cell on the rubber side. The thread would simply just tear through the rubber. Here in South Africa in particular, we are starting to see a huge shift away from open cell suits towards lined suits. There's just so many benefits to having a soft lining on the inside of your suit. First of all, the suit is now going to be significantly stronger as we can stitch the inside of the suit as well. That's going to strengthen the seams considerably. Also, having this lining on the inside of the rubber is going to protect the raw neoprene. No more nicks, scrapes, fingernail marks, anything that can very, very quickly damage your suit. The benefits of wearing a nylon lined suit are really starting to outweigh wearing an open cell suit. My favorite part is no more soapy water trying to get your suit on. This thing, you can put it on in bed in the morning. Many guys feel that an open cell suit is significantly warmer than a lined suit. Well, that's not entirely true. The thickness of the rubber or the neoprene itself doesn't change. Three mil is three mil, five mil is five mil. Whether it's open cell or double line, doesn't affect how warm the suit's gonna be. What is important is of course how the suit fits. Open cell suits, by being a little bit sticky on the inside, will cling to your body a little bit more and perhaps reduce the amount of water flowing through the suit. That of course is also determined by fit. A good fitting three mil suit will always be better than a bad fitting five mil one. Fit is absolutely critical. For me, the biggest game changer is the durability of the double nylon suits. These things are bulletproof, they're soft, they're stretchy. And the most important thing is no more soapy water. That's always a winner. Perhaps something to think about next time you choose a new suit. Cheers for now.